Hi there friends. Today's video is sponsored by NVIDIA. And right now I'm playing The Witcher 3 at ultra high details on my low-end laptop because GeForce now allows me to play high-end detail games anywhere in my house. Even here. Even here. Even here out in the cold. Even here. Even here. Even here. Even here. And even here. My friends, what we just showed you is not an exaggeration. I actually have been able to take my Ultrabook right here all around our brand new office and play The Witcher 3 at ultra detail settings thanks to not only GeForce Now working supremely well over our Wi-Fi, but also the fact that NVIDIA hooked us up with the Ubiquiti Amplify HD Gamers Edition networking so that we could have good Wi-Fi coverage in our brand new office. So big thanks to them for sending that over and big thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. But one of the things with GeForce Now that I really appreciate and one of the reasons why I agreed to work with them for this video is that unlike other streaming platforms that are out there, this one allows you to use games that you already have. I have The Witcher 3 on Steam and so by using GeForce Now, I'm actually able to stream The Witcher 3 to whatever device I have in my setup. It can stream to a PC with Windows OS, it can stream to a Mac, it can also stream to the Shield TV, as well as an Android phone. So there's tons of options, and you can get up to 60 FPS gameplay. In order to hit 1080p 60 FPS, you need a 25 megabit connection, and then 720p 60 FPS is a 15 megabit connection. That might be a lot for some people, but if you have broadband in your area, and you're close enough to one of NVIDIA's servers that are all throughout the US and Europe, up, GeForce Now is actually a remarkable way to play video games in good settings wherever you happen to be within your house or wherever you happen to have a good internet connection. So right now I'm playing with an RTX 2060 Super right there, but it's literally doing nothing. Everything is connected to the internet. So to fully demonstrate this, we actually just took the 2060 Super out of the PC entirely. And right now it's playing Hitman 2 on high detail settings with no graphics card in there on the Intel integrated GPU. It actually runs phenomenally well. I've tested out several different games and with the Tesla GPUs that Nvidia gives you access to with GeForce Now, it's basically like having a full gaming machine no matter what your setup actually is. So Hitman 2 is performing phenomenally. I've gotten at least several hours out of multiple different games where I've been able to just enjoy the experience. But to prove that it can literally run on everything, I'm gonna take it a step further. Not only were we not gonna use the Intel integrated graphics, we went out and bought the cheapest laptop that we could possibly find in our city for $170. This thing is a dual core piece of crap. Like there's nothing special about this. It has a terrible 1366 by 768 TN panel with awful viewing angles. It is a waste of money, but I'm going to be able to play Hitman 2 on this thing, no problem, and just automatically switch over as soon as it's 64 gigabytes. Hard drive can actually boot up. Crappy lappy. So yes, a 1.6 gigahertz dual core hard drive, four gigs of RAM. It has Wi-Fi. That exists. Now, Hitman 2 can't even install on this system. There's not enough hard drive space left. Windows is taking up about half of that 64 gigs. But all I need to do is launch into GeForce Now, click play, and it's gonna pull the game from here and put it on my computer, my laptop. Bam, now we have the exact same gaming experience on this garbage laptop that I, I don't think anybody would ever buy for gaming, but for $170, I can now play games at the exact same detail settings. Hitman 2, which is a recent release, a AAA title, is running flawlessly on this laptop, no issues. I mean, it took forever to load because the hard drive's so slow, but once it's actually in, Nvidia's GeForce Now is doing all of the computing so that we don't have to worry about it. And because I already own it on Steam, I can play it wherever I want. And in case that's not enough for you, well, what if you only have a phone? Simple, simple. You just load it up on your phone. You're gonna need a gamepad for this, obviously, because playing with on-screen controls isn't preferable when you're actually playing AAA games. But there we go, easy peasy, we have the game already set up. 
Hitman's running right here. I don't have a gamepad set up, but getting it on your phone is just as simple. You don't, if you own the game on Steam, you own the game on your phone and you're gonna be able to play it using GeForce. Now I have a GeForce gaming computer in my Android phone. Bam. Bam. So performance across a multitude of different devices is not a problem. Same performance, no matter where you are, the cheapest laptop you can find at a computer store, it's gonna be able to play your AAA games. And then I'm sure a lot of you guys have questions about latency. How does the game actually perform when you're going to a remote server or in a game like Fortnite or other first person shooters where you then also have to connect to a server after that? Well, we can see if we just look at our ping to the NA East server, the NVIDIA server that we're using is about 33 milliseconds. Then obviously you have the millisecond delay from your system to the NVIDIA server. But honestly, after playing in South Africa on 200 plus ping, this is something that a lot Lot of people in the world have to deal with and it's actually not that bad it is not noticeable to me whatsoever um, obviously I'm not a professional gamer and I'm probably not even the best first-person shooter player video game maker but um, as far as the playability if you don't have a system that can play Fortnite then having this extra ping added on in order to actually even be able to play the game at what it looks like to be about 170 frames per second, then it's, it's honestly worth it. Just a quick note that while you're in game on server FPS might be really high, over 150, your game stream will still be 60 FPS, but you still get those extra frames on server. Having NVIDIA GeForce Now allow you to play the game on whatever system you're trying to run, no matter what it is, the latency is a sacrifice that you can actually make and it's responsive enough that I don't really feel a huge delay when I'm clicking the buttons and when it shoots. And again, I'm used to 200 millisecond delay coming from South Africa where there's no local servers, but even if you're used to servers on all the way across the country, this is honestly playable. It's playable, my friends. And then let's say you're in the middle of a match, but you, uh, you know, nature's calling, you gotta go. Well, you can just take your wireless mouse receiver or not, you can just play on a trackpad and then you just plug it in. You switch over to the laptop assuming you have two different PCs, and then you're off. You can, you can go pwn noobs while doing a number two. And another advantage of GeForce Now is literally all of the tons of games that you can play that if you already have them in your Steam library, your Uplay library, you're actually gonna be able to just come and play them with whatever system you have. Right now we have the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, which means that I get to play in a living room-like scenario. This is actually our upstairs of our new office, thanks to the Amplify Ubiquity HD uh, mesh network that we have. But I can play whatever game I would normally play in a console environment, which is just far away from the TV with the controller, and I'll get high detail gaming because my network is good enough to actually handle that, and NVIDIA's GeForce Now is good enough to actually play the video game at the resolution and frame rate that I want. As you can see, The Witcher 3, ultra details on everything, and we're just gonna be able to play. And now we have detail that we can never get on a console because we're essentially running a GeForce gaming PC off of the Shield TV Pro. And this means that if I'm playing a game in my office at home and my wife wants me to join her in the bedroom, well then I can just put this on the TV and continue my gaming session. Just, that, that sounded weird. I just meant like she wants to be next to me while, anyways. I meant what I said. And right now, GeForce Now is free in beta. They will be launching it fully at a future date. But in case you wanna to try to join the beta, you can do so at the link in the video description. And also check out the link down below to learn more about GeForce Now and how you, in any given situation, can play high quality games wherever you are. And one of the big things that I see this as an advantage for are people who fall on hard times. Like it's not unknown to me that I've had to sell my PC before because I've needed the money. But now with GeForce Now, I would be able to have the same high quality gameplay even if I sold my GPU. I would just need a display out with, with my system and I can still play games and enjoy it. And that's a big thing that I think that I could really appreciate for people who may not have enough money to get the best gaming PC but then they could still play The Witcher 3 as it was meant to be played. 1080p, 60 FPS, ultra details, 
NVIDIA hair works, it's all there. So again, big thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring today's video. Check out more about GeForce Now down below in the video description. I'm gonna continue playing The Witcher 3. You guys are gonna watch another one of our videos by uh, you know just staying here at the UFD Tech channel. Hit the like button and whatnot, get us promoted in the algorithm, and I'll see you later. Bye. I mean, it's at 100% usage, not doing anything. It's just, it's just sitting at 100% usage.